Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today for my devotional, I'd like to share from the book of Exodus, chapter 8, verses 16 to 19. And if you can, I want to encourage you to read these verses with me. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron, stretch out your staff and strike the dust of the ground. And throughout the land of Egypt, the dust will become gnats. They did this, and when Aaron stretched out his hand with the staff and struck the dust of the ground, gnats came on people and animals. All the dust throughout the land of Egypt became gnats. But when the magicians tried to produce gnats by their secret arts, they could not. Since the gnats were on people and animals everywhere, the magician said to Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart was hard and he would not listen, just as the Lord had said. Throughout the passages that we've been reading, up until now, the Egyptian magicians were somehow able to replicate the plague that God sent to Egypt. We don't have all the details of how they exactly did it, we only know that uh, it was their sacred art. However, when Moses orders the plague of gnats, the magicians weren't able to do the same. They did try to produce it, but they couldn't do it. And the Bible says, they said to Pharaoh that this is the finger of God. Up until now, Pharaoh believed that his nation had the supreme power and he viewed himself as the most powerful person who can do anything. However, in this passage again, God clearly shows that he is the Yahweh and the Lord Almighty. In the same way, there will always be people in this world who think that they are supremely powerful. But God always has a way of proving them wrong. Even after God does show up to display His power, those with hardened hearts will refuse to humble their, themselves and they will reject the good news of Jesus. If you have some time today, I want to encourage you to read this passage and meditate on it. I have found two things that I'd like to share with you after my reflection on this passage. First of all, let us humble ourselves before the Lord and let us ask Him to give us a strong faith and let us trust Him who always makes a way for His people. Secondly, let us pray that the Holy Spirit will open up the hearts of non-believers so that they may repent and accept the good news of Jesus. Let us pray. Father God, through today's passage, again, we are reminded of your power and your sovereignty. We acknowledge that you are the same God who lives and works in us. So Lord, give us faith to trust you and trust your way. Um, Lord, we also find uh, from today's passage, the Pharaoh hardens his heart again and he refused to know you and to surrender to you. Lord, we pray for the people who have been rejecting you. We pray that your spirit would open their spiritual eyes and lead them to repentance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.